this new perplexity cards feature inside of perplexity is actually super useful, but it's kind of hard to trigger. But if you can get it to work, it gives you some great insightful data that you can use to visualize just about anything. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. So if you're new here, I'll tell you more, but this is our AI in five. So part of everyday AI, we do a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter. So let's just jump in and I'll give you uh, some examples here. Uh, so I'm inside of my perplexity account right now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples of different, um, you know, different types of, of prompts or uh, different reasons why you could use this or instances in which you could. All right. So let's go ahead and pull one up here. So the first one that I'm going to do is uh, going to compare two different stocks. So all I'm going to do is just paste that in here uh, to perplexity. If I could find my window, there we go. I found it. Here we go. Uh, so in this, all I'm doing is I'm putting in NVIDIA versus Apple stock 2024. Uh, so, so what it does here is it uses this, uh, third party, uh, tool or service called taco or taco, I believe. So it looks like it's in beta right now and you can't even really access it. But, uh, I mean, here's why it's really cool and why I think you should use it as well. Well, it gives you real time and interactive data. So as you can hopefully see, or, uh, see here, on my screen is I can hover over, right? So in this, I, I wouldn't even call it a prompt, right? I, I put in a comparison. Uh, so I put NVIDIA versus Apple stock in 2024. And you'll see here, I can go to January and they were kind of uh, similar. So now it's showing me percentage uh, over time. And it looks like so far in 2024, Apple is up 4.7%. And NVIDIA, yeah, NVIDIA is going wild y'all nvidia is up 154 percent uh so it's a pretty pretty simple and pretty easy feature uh that we have in perplexity however it's actually i mean there's parts of it that are a little frustrating uh because you can't even fully trigger it um you know when you try is kind of what i found uh so as an example here so one example you know i'm actually using or i'm trying to use this exact same I don't know if this is a prompt or a heading, but I was trying to get this exact same uh, kind of graph that perplexity did. So uh, now I'm, I'm gonna go in here and uh, I have this copied, right? So this is the exact same thing that perplexity showed right here where it says Joe Biden, Donald Trump, general election polling, United States, all respondents. And it's not always consistent. So uh, at least in, in my um, kind of searching, it, it doesn't always do it. So it looks like right here, I'm looking at the searches and this time it actually uh, did the the taco or taco uh, graph, but it didn't pull up the same one uh, from the example. So here, it looks like it just did uh, a couple of dates. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try a follow-up prompt. I'm gonna say, thanks. Now, please plot all data from 2024, right? Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but you know, if you haven't used perplexity, it's iterative like most good large language models. So I don't have to re-explain the prompt from scratch. It's keeping all of this in mind. So uh, unfortunately, it looks like this uh, kind of card, uh, this new feature from perplexity in this case, really only uh, got these two or three data points, which is really not what was shown in the demo. And again, it didn't show exactly what prompt was used. Um, I just tried putting in the same heading. You, you know, anytime a company releases something, I always try and do recreate exactly what they did first and then try to reverse engineer it to see, okay, how can it work? And, you know, how can you kind of hack this and use this in fun ways? So at least in this case, couldn't get this to spit out the exact same thing uh, as perplexity. Uh, so I'm going to try one more here. Let's, let's try one more from scratch. Hopefully this one could work. Um, so... Uh, it, it would be great if perplexity gave a little bit more information uh, on exactly how this works or how you could uh, kind of trigger this. But, you know, from what from what little uh, we could find. So they do have these uh, kind of two different links uh, right here. But it looks like the best way uh, to trigger this is to put like a versus symbol. So even looking at the taco website, you know, it, either. Uh, you know, putting a, a data point and then uh, since a year or putting uh, two different things with a verse, uh, right? And so 
it's not consistent enough. Um, so, you know, in this example, I said Chicago Bulls versus LA Lakers, NBA total wins by year since 1990. Uh, so unfortunately here, it just puts it um, in a graph, right? So now I can just try as an example, uh, same thing. I'm just going to try Chicago Bulls versus LA Lakers and see if we can trigger it. So uh, this is, you know, I'm not going to go through and trouble this step by step. So you'll saw that some I was able to trigger fairly easily. Uh, some don't always work consistently. So uh, I'm going to leave in the video description some links so you can read more. Uh, so I'm hoping that we get some updates here from uh, Perplexity or Taiko uh, on exactly how you can consistently trigger these things. However, However, I did find it good for, uh, you, you know, certain things such as stocks, um, you, you know, and putting that verse, uh, in. I'm sure that there's going to be some updates, uh, to this feature coming out soon. So, uh, when it is updated, I'll make sure to keep you in the loop. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if so, please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, as well as subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you want to hear next. Uh, I know I stink at getting to the comments. I swear I'm going to get better, but let me know what you want to see. Uh, do you want to see more perplexity, more chat GPT, large language models, mid journey runway? What do you want to see? All right. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you back for another AI five. Thanks y'all.